Courts, um, how has this World Cup experience been for you? It's been amazing for me. Um, again, it's my first World Cup. Couldn't ask for much more for it to be on home soil and with the group of girls that we have. Um, it's a dream come true to me. It's been something that I've been wanting to push for for my whole career and um, you know to be here now and to have the crowds here and everyone supporting us is just yeah it's something I never thought would happen uh, but yeah to be here and and be playing uh, in front of everyone is just amazing. And now you've featured in every game so far how would you assess your tournament? Yeah I'm really happy with my tournament uh, you know I didn't go into this tournament expecting anything um, to put the jersey on and to be in this squad representing Australia is just all I've ever wanted. And whether that's on the bench starting, um, being in the stands, I don't know, being a fan, you know, like I'm just happy to be a part of it in any way possible. And for me, I think um, something I bring to the squad is just positivity and, and pace up front. Um, you know, I'm, I'm someone that just does their job that's needed. and. If, if that's yeah coming off the bench and closing out a game, that's what I'm doing and I'm doing it for the squad and yeah, I'm really happy with my tournament so far. Well on that, how does your game day change or your mindset change whether you're going to start or whether you're going to come off the bench? Yeah, mine changes a lot actually. Um, I think I probably get a bit more nervous when I'm starting uh, but to be fair, I really enjoy being out there and doing the whole walk and get to have the big uh, look around at the stadium and everyone singing the national anthem and being a part of it. It's just a whole different um, day, I feel, to being on the bench. You know, I being on the bench last game, um, you have to be positive around the girls and really bring that positivity off the bench and around the squad. And, you know, they're all focused. They're already You're focused as well. You also need to know your role. If you're coming on for a certain player, you might be coming on. It could be three different players. You need to know what you're doing. So there's a bit more of a tactical role you, I think, think about a bit more um, as a bench player. And to be put on, you need to know like what your role is, whether that's closing out a game, whether that's coming on to score, like what's the game plan. And you might have to put messages across. There's just a whole different um, feel to it, I think. And I like both. <laughs> and well, now there's a potential of 120 minutes and potentially pens. How do you prepare for that? And are you willing to step up for a pen if needed? I'm willing to do whatever I need to do for the squad. Um, you know, if I pick to do the pen, I back myself. I back myself to take the pen. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, you just got to go into these games thinking they're like any other game and just go out there and play your game and our game and um, the rest will come. And if it does go to 120 and pens, it is what it is. We need to just step up and uh, stick to our game plan. And I think we'll be all right. Now we saw you on Monday come off the bench alongside Sam. How special was that moment for you to even be coming on uh, and how special it was for Sam as well? Yeah, I mean, you could tell from the crowd how excited everyone was for Sam. Um, I was excited for Sam, you know, I think it's been really tough on her this whole tournament having to sit back and watch uh, in the stands and on the bench. Um, she has done a fantastic job though of still being so positive and making it not about her where you know she's been our leader and someone that we look up to in our squad and to have her going uh, and sitting on the bench and not being a part of the starting team has it's been it's a bit of a different dynamic for her she's stepped into that role and done such a good job so to see you know the crowd getting behind her and her warming up and seeing being a part of that with her was yeah I was so happy for her and she went on and nearly scored so I hope we, we see more of that. <laughs> Great. And looking ahead to Saturday's game, did you watch the France-Morocco game last night or have you seen it? And um, what impresses you most about France? Yeah, I watched a little bit of the game last night. Um, I didn't watch the whole thing. I just wanted to see you know, how the game went. And once France were up 3-0, I was like, OK, we know we're versing France. It's time to just switch on to how we versed them last time and what they're about. You know, they have a lot of great individual players and they're a good collective team and we saw that when we first before going into this World Cup so it's good that we have some images and footage of us against them um, but I'm sure we'll be looking at that this week and creating a game plan. And how is the rest of the team taking in this tournament? Do you have a room that's dedicated to potentially to up to sport watching all the all the games? Yeah we have a players lounge so uh, there's, there's quite a few people that kind of live there and they all watch the games and in the group stages where it was every day um, there was games on there was quite a few girls that would just sit there you know then we have the coffee and we're already just watching the games and um, yeah it's quite nice to just 
be living in this football bubble. Uh, everyone's enjoying it, everyone's loving it. And we saw half the team today doing recovery and half the team out training today. How are you finding these rest periods? Is it quick turnaround? Are you getting enough recovery time? Yeah, it's a very quick turnaround. Um, I think the staff are doing an amazing job at managing everyone's individual load. Uh, you know, tournaments like these, you need to be just flying when it comes to game day and each, each individual has their own um, path, I guess, going into that game day. And yeah, they've just done a really good job at managing uh, the, you know, the quick three-day, four-day turnaround um, going into the games. And at the end of the day, we just want everyone to be flying for, for game day. Now, we've seen a number of your Sydney teammates heading over to the WSL. We're going to stick focus, obviously, on this World Cup, but is that on the cards for you? Well, you never know. <laughs> At the moment, obviously, yeah, I'm just focusing on the World Cup and, you know, there are opportunities coming up here and there, but um, it's something that I'll be looking at later. Great straight bat answer there. Um, now, we've been asking quite a few players about who is the quickest player in the team. Now, your name has been thrown out there a few times. <laughs> Do you think you're the quickest or who would you say would be right up there? I don't know. It just depends, I feel like, on the length of the sprint. Um, I'm definitely not a long sprinter. I feel like that's probably Ellie's game up there. And then, you know, you have Razzo, who's just also lightning. Sam's lightning. Kate's like, I feel like our whole team's bloody lightning. But um, who would I pick as the quickest? I'm going to say, I'm going to say Razzo as the quickest. Um, I just feel like I've seen some of her sprints in the games and just defenders have no chance. <laughs> I'm sure you'd be right up there. So final question, Saturday, you're a Brisbane girl, you're a Queenslander at heart. How big is this game going to be for you and what do you want to see from the fans? Yeah, it's massive for me. I get to have all my family there and my friends that um, have supported me throughout this whole journey. And yeah, I'm, I mean, the crowd was great last time we were here and I'm expecting more of that and hopefully even louder. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.